The drilling phase is finished for this project now. We completed our second well, UD2, at the end of June to a depth of 2,400 metres. And we spent the first three weeks of July demobilising the drilling rig. And now we have some tidy up work to do on the site, but it's all looking a little bit empty. This is the wellhead for United Downs 1, the first of the two holes we drilled at this site. It's 5,275 metres deep. And when we go into operation, this will be the production well, delivering water to the surface at 175 degrees centigrade. We'll use that heat in our power plant and then the water will be re-injected into our other well, United Downs 2, which is 2,400 metres deep. The wells are only eight metres apart at the surface, but underground they're 2,000 metres apart and connected together by the natural fracture system in our target geological structure. Drilling deep holes is difficult. It's time consuming, it's complicated. Uh, we've had some problems, but we've done it, and that's no mean feat. The results so far are very encouraging. We know the temperatures are high enough. We know we've encountered the target fault structure. We know it's fractured. The main job we have to do over the next few months is to demonstrate that it's permeable enough and that we can circulate enough water through it to extract the energy that we need.